Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Ryan and welcome back to Trending Now. Today guys, we're going to go over the 10 most expensive watches ever made and ever sold to this date. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, support it by dropping a thumbs up down below. And if you guys are new to the Trending Now family, then be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. But now guys, without wasting any more time, let's get right into today's video. So thousands of years ago, human beings began keeping track of the sun and the moon because they need to fill in that downtime between hunting and gathering. Eventually over time, we ended up developing different ways to keep track of time via oil lamps, sundials, and of course, eventually the watch. And if you guys didn't know this, the first watch I ever made was in the 16th century. And then over time, watches became more than just a tool to keep track of our time. A watch now is used as a status symbol. So if you ever catch yourself wearing any of the 10 watches below, then that's a quick way to tell the world that you're really wealthy. But now guys, without wasting any more time, let's get right into today's video. So number 10, Ulysse Nardin Hannibal Minute Repeater. So hopefully I pronounced that right, I didn't butcher that too much, but the Ulysse Nardin Minute Repeater is limited to only 30 pieces, and when you read into the mechanics that make this watch, you'll understand why. So it has a Westminster repeater with a four note melody that requires four chimes and four gongs in the watch, playing melodies on the hour, minute, and quarter time. In the watch is figures known as jack marks. Well, these are animated to move with the hours and the minutes. The gears and the levels are made of steel and the dial's top plate is made of granite sourced from the Alps. This rare watch will set you back around $7,300. Number 9, the Vincentera Luna Watch. Vincent Plum is a master watchmaker who doesn't let the fact that he's bound to a wheelchair stop him from creating these masterpieces. The Vincent Terra Luna is a fine example of his attention to detail and ultimate craftsmanship. Now this beautifully shaped watch doesn't only keep track of time but it also boasts a day slash night indicator along with a little spinning orb in the corner that completes one revolution in 24 hours. Now if that's not ultimate detail, I don't know what it is guys. So this watch is available in polished steel, pink, yellow, and white gold. The low end price will set you back $15,000 and the higher end watches will set you back roughly $30,000. Number 8, the Split Seconds Patek Philippe. Now I'm sure you guys have heard of Tiffany & Co, well basically if you haven't, it's a luxury and specialty retailer well known for the really high end jewelry. All around the world people know them as a place that sells super expensive jewelry that most people can't afford. But Tiffany & Co's inventory isn't just limited to jewelry, it also does have some rare watches. If you happen to have a lot of money laying around, well, one of the unique watches you can get from Tiffany & Co is a signed Patek Philippe 18 karat gold watch that retails for a cool, you know, $555,000. This Patek Philippe gold watch was made in 1952 and has 25 jewels and applied gold baguette numerals. Honestly, this watch doesn't get any crazier. Number 7, we have the Hublet LaFerrari watch. So the Ferrari brand is known for their expensive cars, but if you happen to have some change left over after purchasing a $500,000 car, well, you can use that cash to get a matching watch made by Humboldt. Humboldt designers created the LaFerrari watch to make with Ferrari's supercar with the same name. The LaFerrari is made of black PVD titanium, sapphire crystal, and has a 50-day power reserve. The complicated inner workings of the watch even resemble a car's engine and copy its curves and colors. This limited edition watch will run you $300,000 and it's even more special because only 50 were ever made. Number 6, Steve McQueen's Rolex Submariner. The history of McQueen's watch is as exciting as one of his movies. This Rolex Submariner bought by McQueen in the 1960s has been worn in two of his movies, The Great Escape and The Towering Inferno. McQueen eventually ended up giving the watch to one of his friends slash stuntman, Lauren James. It's the only watch in the world with McQueen's name engraved on it. This precious timepiece was almost lost in the California fires in 2016. Thankfully, it was later found, fixed, and brought back to life by Rolex. This watch was bought at an undisclosed price at an auction, but rumors say that it sold for over $200,000. Number 5, Piaget Emperor Temple. When a watch costs $3.3 million, you could probably assume that it's either a magic transformer watch that also turns into a mansion or a watch cover with an obscene amount of diamonds. Well, the Piaget Emperor Temple watch fits the profile of a million dollar watch. While the watch doesn't turn into an actual temple, it's absolutely encrusted with diamonds. With a little over a thousand emeralds and baguette cut diamonds, as well as a mother of pearl dial. This timepiece has such an overabundance of bling, people will be blinded by the beauty from a mile away. But don't forget, it will set you back $3 million. Number 4, the Louis Monet Meteoris. Created by Louis Monet, a company in Switzerland known for their extravagant watches, the Meteoris is one of their finest. This $4.6 million watch I can tell you has all the bells and whistles you would expect from a watch with that price tag. So combined with the state of the art technology and rare materials, it's an eye catching watch with exposed intricate mechanisms that look like a work of art. But the one thing that really sets this watch apart from the other watches on this list is a tourbillon Mars dial made of a 180 million year old meteorite known as a Jadat Al Harris 479. If that doesn't make this watch unique, I don't know what does. Number 3, Paul Newman's Rolex Daytona. 
The title of the highest price tag ever achieved for a wristwatch at an auction belongs to Paul Newman's 1968 Daytona Rolex. So in 2017 at the winning icons auction, only 12 minutes of bidding passed before the watch was sold to a bidder over the phone for $15.5 million, breaking the previous record of $11 million held by Patek Philippe timepiece. This watch was originally a gift to Newman from his wife and eventually went on to become the holy grail of watches, attracting buyers who not only love watches but buyers who collect bling and just like to flex. Number 2. Marie Antoinette Pocket Watch Although this watch is named after Marie Antoinette, the muse for this $30 million watch had gone for 34 years when it was finally finished in 1827. It's safe to say that the Marie Antoinette Pocket Watch is just a beautiful timepiece. Most of the parts of the timepiece are made out of polished pink gold, which really makes this watch stand out. The watch also has an exciting past. It was stolen in 1983 from a museum in Jerusalem, then recovered in 2007, reconstructed and put on a display in 2008. The watch now sits in the presentation case carved from an oak tree from Versailles that the Queen used to rest under. Now finally, for number one we have the Graf Diamonds Hallucination. So the most expensive item ever displayed at the Bass Award exhibition is the Graf Hallucination watch. This distinct timepiece is covered with rare, multicolored diamonds and described as a structural masterpiece. The stones used for the watch were chosen by Mr. Graf over a span of a few years and were meticulously placed one by one. Many other watches failed to compare to the hallucination not only because of the beauty of each individual diamond that make up the watch, but also for its mind-blowing $55 million price tag, making it one of the most expensive watches in the world. Now, I'm telling you guys, if you can afford this, mm, give me a call. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you do, support it by dropping a thumbs up down below. And if you're new to the family, be sure to hit that subscribe button with post notifications turned on. But now guys, my name is Ryan. I hope to catch you guys in the next video. But until then, peace out guys.